Right guys, Anthony at Farmstar again. We're gonna do real basic GPS work now. So this time I'm gonna show you what you need to set up your GPS and how to do a basic um, straight AB line. From there I can talk us through the different swath types and how they can be used. So I'll spin you around, put you onto the screen and we'll go from here. So what we've got on our screen currently is my profile run screen which can be accessed in a different way so if you've not got grow a farm field set up onto a run screen you can press back this is generic for all our screens go to performance and you can see across the bottom look there's profile and that's another way of getting to these these pieces of information what we need to fill in so the first bit of information to fill in is grower and all I'm going to do is put in F star for farm star real quick. My farm, I'm just going to put down as this depot, which is Ma. Press enter. And now we need a field. So this is just a grass field at the back of the depot here. So I'll just pop in grass. And you can see that a task has automatically been created on today's date and time. We need these things put in to be able to do the GPS because the tractor needs to know what field it's in and what farm it's at and who the grower is. The other thing it does need is the implement. So we need to put in an implement and an implement width. To do this for the first time with a fresh tractor, we need to go to toolbox. So press back, go to toolbox, and we can see we've already got an implement in but what would be in this screen at the minute if there was nothing, it would come up with obviously blank pieces of uh, information, so blank boxes. But what we need to do is press on the implement up there, you'll bring up this list where it says select edit name or new, and we will simply click on new. And what we'll do is I will just simply call this plow, press enter, duplicate name exists, what I'll do is just call it plow one. That means we've already got plough in there, basically. So it's stopping us putting in another implement of the same description. So plough one, we can now see it's reset the width. The operation, we can say now that we're doing till, so I'll just call it till. And the implement type. So ignore the advanced trailer brake for now, we don't need to worry too much about that. The task will already be created, and work condition, again, don't worry too much about that either. All we need to do now is just create what the what the implement is. So we need to know what type it is, whether it's a three-point hitch or a towed implement. So obviously a mounted plow or a mounted drill combination would be three-point hitch. Um, a trail drill or a trail set of discs, for example, or a trail cultivator would obviously be a towed implement. So for this instance, I'm gonna put in three-point hitch. Now the coverage trigger, which I spoke about in previous videos, but for those of you who haven't watched them videos, the coverage trigger is what causes the tractor to start recording where you've been in the field and where you've worked. This works with work control on the left hand, left hand side here. So whatever we've set work control to will work in conjunction with your implement. In auto mode, it reacts to what your implement is. So our coverage trigger look is rear hitch. What that's saying is every time we lift our arms up or drop our arms down, it will start or stop recording our coverage. Different trigger points are as follows. Rear hitch, front hitch, front and rear hitch together. You've got all four spools at the back. You've got your two front spools on the right there. And then you've got auto guidance and rear PTO. So if we wanted our rear PTO to be our trigger, for our coverage, whenever the rear PTO is turning, that will start recording of where you've worked in conjunction to the width of the implement you've put in. For this instance, run a plow, there's no PTO to engage, so I'm just gonna put rear hitch. So again, every time I lift the arms up or drop the arms down, it'll start or stop recording. So long as my work control is in auto. If we're in off, it won't record at all. If we're in on, it will always record constantly, regardless of what your implement is. In road mode, 
it's always off and it's just another safety feature to tell the tractor that you're going on the road. So we'll leave her in auto and this is now in conjunction with our grey arrow pointing upwards. So what this means now is we're on a, a, a three point hitch implement and if I drop my arms down you will see this grey arrow what's facing upwards turn to a green arrow facing downwards. And there we go. And what this is saying now, when I drive forward, it's now going to start recording the coverage of the area what I've worked. So it works really, really well. Moving on from that, going down the list, we've got our implement width, which is default set at 9.144 meters. That is the physical size of the machine. It's not massively important, but it's just the physical size of the machine. So if we were on a four meter um, power harrow for example the working width would probably be 3.9 something like that 3.95 and your implement width would maybe be 4.1 or 4.2 again it doesn't make a blind bit of difference what that is so long as it's larger than the swath width the one thing our tractors can't quite understand is how your swath width would be wider than the physical size of the machine so an example of that would be a first spreader or a muck spreader where the actual size of the implement is smaller than the, the width of the work. So in that scenario, if you're on a 24 meter first spreader, for example, you'd have your implement width up at 24 meters as well as your swath width. Otherwise it wouldn't let you have your swath width any bigger. So for this example, I'm just gonna pop it to two meters on the swath width, which is your actual working width of the implement. Like I say, your implement width doesn't particularly matter, but for the sake of it, I'm just going to put in three meters. Implement offset. This is all down to what you've got and how it's pulling. Okay, so if we've got a set of mowers on and we've got a front and rear mower, so long as it's a one-sided mower at the back and not a double, we would need to put an offset in to tell the tractor that the receiver, which is sat in the middle of the cab of the tractor, is actually sat in between the working widths of both mowers put together. How you do this is a minus offset will move it to the right and a, a plus offset will move it to the left. I can go into this in a little bit more detail in a different video um, so for now I'll leave that because hopefully most of the things you've got are going to be towing straight behind the tractor but if the do pull offset which drills do now and again especially trail drills we can set the offset up possibly one or two inches one way just to compensate for that happening. Our bar distance is how far back the implement is from the receiver. Basic terms, I would personally put this for example if we had a mounted drill on, I would measure roughly from the receiver to the coulters and that would be of how far behind the, uh, the tractor the implement is. Don't mistake that for the bar distance. It is actually the, the, the length of the implement to the rear or the, the point of which is doing the work. So a, a, a flat lift, for example, you'll probably do it to the, the, the legs, okay? I'll leave that at zero for now. We don't need to worry too much about that. But that's the implement set up. So as long as we've got our width set up correctly for the implement, again, I can do another video on that, on how to correctly set up your swath width for the implement. A lot of people look at the side of a, a machine and think it's three meters and they bob that in and it's actually probably 2.7 or 2.8. That does happen now and again with, with flat lifts, for example. So what we'll do is leave it at that. Your implement's set up. I'll press back, go to our run screen and we can see there we've got our profile set up.